Welcome back, Woodhounds, to the Back 40 Firewood Channel and the Back 40 Wood Yard. We're back here today after yesterday getting an all day rainstorm. So the, uh, the seating that I did up there in the part of the lawn that I decided to do just so it would get a good soaking of rain, got a good soaking of rain. And when I mean a good soaking, it was all day and most of the night. Like it was just, it wasn't a hard rain. It was at times it was kind of coming down, but otherwise it was just a light steady rain all day long. So anyway, I want to split up this big round. Um, the tree service dropped off that bit uh, a while back. There was a big um, chunk of river birch something that I've never split before and there was a couple big trunks of it and so what I did is I cut one piece down because it wasn't in you know I cut it down to about 16 inches so I'm going to split that now and then I might be able to get something out of it that I'm going to show you what I've gotten out of some other pieces of wood that's kind of unique and kind of different and might make you think that I've completely lost my mind which you may be correct but we're going to get to that and I'll explain you know the backstory and the reason why I do what I do after I show you what I do all right so let's get to it Alright, so I've got that one big round of river birch split down. And I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking, Shifty, what are you doing? What's going on with the title of this video? What this what is this all about? Well, first of all, one thing is I know sometimes you'll hear out there how big chunks of wood like that, they're not worth dealing with. They're just better left off in the woods, you know, don't bring them back, you know, don't don't mess with them. It's more trouble than it's worth. But out of that one round one round yeah it took me 10 12 minutes to split but look at that over there's actually about 50 almost 60 pieces of wood right there from one round of free firewood i got from the tree service so now 
there you go. Was it worth it? Heck yeah. Look at all that wood. Beautiful. Just got to take the time and do it. All right, so now the big thing though. What was I looking for besides just more pieces of wood for the roadside stand? There's something that you can get out of some of these big, gnarly pieces of wood. It's what I like to call the trophy splits. And what do I mean by that? This piece right here, I actually got three, three potential trophy splits. Check this out. So there you go. Look at this piece of wood. Where have I ever seen a piece of wood like this? Nowhere. I've never had river birch and I've never seen one with a two-tone swervy spot grain split it's beautiful check out this one same thing another split in the grain two tones oh, just look at that grain look at that grain and color and just the way that it i mean it's just it's very unique here again here's another one Check this one out. Look at this. Look at the color, the knot, the grain formation. I mean, pretty crazy. So right there out of that piece of wood, for me anyway, I have potentially three more of what I call my trophy splits. Now, you're saying trophy splits, what are you talking about? When you take the time to just slow down and appreciate the little things, I mean, there's, there's treasures and there's beauty all over. I mean, those three pieces of wood back there, I'll probably go, I don't know, how, I'll maybe never see another piece of wood that's split like that. And so what I like to do to remind myself every now and then that, you know, instead of getting caught up in the rat race of pumping out wood, getting out face cores, splitting wood, cutting wood, bucking wood, all that stuff, slow down, take a moment, enjoy what Mother Nature has presented to you. And so, <laughs> like I said before, if you are new here and you haven't, um, and you haven't wondered yet if I'm completely crazy, you may be right. But, uh, so over the years, over, you know, however long I've been splitting wood, I have set aside pieces of wood from, you know, certain splits that come off funny, but they have a look to them. They have that look that's like nothing you've ever seen and nothing you'll ever see again. So let me show you now some of my collection a small uh, well it's it's probably almost it's not all of it but let me show you some of the collection of my trophy splits so here we go all these pieces of wood there's a variety of maple elm some oak i mean look at some of these shapes some of these grain some of the grain patterns I mean, it's just, like I said, it's very, very unique. And I just find it amazing. So for instance, this piece of wood right here, look at that. This is exactly how it's split right off the splitter. I sanded it up a little bit, but otherwise that's exactly how that piece of wood came off the splitter. Same with some of these other little ones. Check out that piece of red or yeah elm back there there's another piece of elm there's a big piece of oak i think um and look at that and then there's that back there this piece right here you may have remembered that that actually is from um the video where we tested the biggest machine ever from wolf ridge manufacturing with uh, his, his, his one wedge that he had made for that one big machine. 
spit out this perfect triangle pieces of wood. Um, this piece is kind of unique because I always like to, I like to think of it as like when you look at it, it's almost like a, a, a city skyline, like little buildings in there. That's back there. We've got some, some ant damage. Um, here's a piece of maple. It's kind of cool. Look at this guy. Ooh, the voodoo, the voodoo split. Kind of looks like a voodoo doll or something. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Pretty crazy stuff. This piece here I found uh, on a popple tree. It was actually a, I think it was a bird's nest. Um, there was a nest in there, but I didn't, I didn't split it or I didn't cut it. I cut it off and then just kind of kept it. This piece here kind of looks like Groot. I've had that in a video before. And then there's just stuff like this. You know, I mean that right there, I'm planning on probably putting a little clear coat stain on it and I might just hang it on the wall. I don't know how yet, but check that out. Like I said, kind of cool, kind of crazy. A little bit of oath. Um, you know, again with like this one, this is just a split, just a split right off the, uh, right off the splitter. Piece of oak split, fell, and I saw this. I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna hang on to that. That's a trophy split right there. This is one of my favorites right here. Just, you know, just, just a conversation starter. Get that cleaned up, sand it down a little bit, put a little stain on there, set it up on the shelf. Like I said, it's just cool stuff to me. So there it is, some of my trophy splits back there. Like I said, I kind of collect them here and there. I'll look for, you know, big knotty pieces of wood like that, split them open, just see. And like I said, I just, I see how they come off, come off the splitter. They come off the wedge, they got a unique little shape to them, they got a unique little look to them. I'll set them aside, save them. Just to, uh, you know, do something with, like I said, this piece here, I'll probably have to clean this one up a little bit, get some of these rough splinters off, but look at that. <laughs> I know, call me crazy. Call me a wood hound, through and through. But I'm telling you right now, number one, this is, like I said, a, a species of wood I've never had in my wood yard before. River birch, something now that I will remember and look back on and say, yep, remember that time that tree service dropped off that big gnarly river birch right there. That's one of the splits. So again, like I said, you know, sometimes I think we all can use that break to just slow down and just think about things, not be in such a hurry. I mean, the world is moving fast. There's always change happening. There's always things going on. And sometimes it's just nice to look for the little things like, you know, a piece of wood comes off the splitter, splits open, and presents a unique pattern in its grain or a unique color or a unique shape. Just take a moment and, and appreciate it. Like I said, just, you know, that's how sometimes well, that's how my mind does work. <laughs> Not sometimes, a lot of times. It's always good to appreciate, like I said, what Mother Nature presents to you. And when you're just, you know, every day processing firewood, cutting firewood, splitting firewood, sometimes those are the little things that go unnoticed. And, and sooner or later, it's, you know, you lose focus of other things in life that you should be appreciating. And... So that's the message today <laughs> from the Back 40 Woodyard. I'm sure there'll be plenty of people watching this saying, that guy's lost his dang mind. <laughs> Not only 
is he hurling firewood like crazy, but now he's saving pieces of wood as trophies. But to me, it's pretty cool. So, all right, so that'll do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.